السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome dear students in our commercial subject group level 3 in accounting 213 Today we will continue unit 6 financial statement analysis In this lesson we will know how to compute the percentage of calculating the vertical analysis for both income statement and balance sheets As we know before we already explained the horizontal analysis in a previous lesson for both balance sheet and income statement. And today we will explain the vertical analysis also using balance sheet and income statements. Just a quick reminder, we explained already horizontal analysis. We said that we have two formula. The first formula is current year in relation to base year, okay, when we hear relation, it means current year amount divided by the base year amount multiplied by 100. The second formula, change since base year, when we see change or increase or decrease, we have to apply the second formula, which is current year amount minus base year amount over base year amount multiply by 100. Okay, let's start, or just a quick uh, reminder for the previous lesson. The net sales for 2018 and 2019 are 50,000 and 75,000. So 2018 is the base amount. Okay, 2019 is the current amount the base amount because 2018 is the old year okay old year 2019 is the current year it is the new year okay let's see the requirements current year in relation to base year relation mean we have to apply the first formula which is current year divided by the base year multiply by 100 equal 150 percent let's see the second requirement change since base year change mean the second formula it's mean current minus base amount divided by the base amount so let's see the answer it's 75,000 minus 50,000 over 50,000 multiply by 100 equal 50 percent. This was a quick reminder of the previous lesson. It's two formula. When we see relation, we have to apply the first formula and the percentage change, we have to apply the second formula. Okay, let's start with the new part, vertical analysis. The second method of financial statement analysis. Let's start. Also, we have two formula, one related to the balance sheet and the second related to the income statements. Okay, balance sheets. Let's see, percentage of any item in balance sheet assets equal any item of assets divided by total assets. Okay, for liability, any item of liability divided by total liability and equity. Let's see the first example. We have balance sheets, okay, and the requirement is compute all percentage of balance sheet of Abdullah company. We have 2019 and 2018. The solution, we have two formula for the balance sheet, one of them, an item of assets over the total assets or any item of liability over total liability and stockholders equity. Let's see the solution. We have two years, first balance sheets. Okay, in balance sheet we have assets, total assets equal liability plus owner's equity. So when we come to total assets, 
and total liability and owner's equity, it's already equal, as you know it before in accounting 111. Okay, the same as here in 2018, the total assets is equal total liability and owner's equity. Okay, now when we want to apply this formula, what does the formula say? Any item of assets divided by total assets. Any item of liability divided by total liability and owner's equity. Okay, let's start solving the problem. Here, total assets. This is the base. Okay, for current assets, any item, the rule said, divided by total assets. For fixed assets, the same. 70,000 divided by 76,000 multiplied by 100 equal 92.11. The same as total assets. Okay, just we copy the amount divided by the same number. Okay, let's choose the same for the current liability, long-term liability. Let's choose stockholders' equity, the same. So, this one equal this one. So, all base will be the same. Okay, just we copy the figure. Okay. For 2018, it's the same. We know that 45,000 already equal the total liability and stockholders' equity. So the base will be the same for all the amounts because total assets equal total liabilities and owners' equity. Just we copy the number. It's so easy. The same for the whole amount. Okay, so this is the balance sheet. For income statement, we have just one formula. Any item of income statement divided by sales or net sales. You can use both, uh, one of them. Okay, let's see. The income statement said, Compute all percentage of income statement. Also, we have 2019 and 2018. Okay, let's see the income statement. The rule said, any item of income statement divided by sales or net sales. In this income statement, we already have the sales or net sales, but we will choose the sales. Okay, let's start with the sales. 42,000 divided by 42,000 multiplied by 100 equal 100. The same for all the amounts here. Just we copy the first number and 42,000 same for all the figures. Okay. Let's see 2018, the amount for sales is 28,000. So the base is 28,000, the same for all the amounts. Just we copy the first number. For example, sales return and allowance 3,000. 3,000 divided by 28,000 multiplied by 100 equal 10.71%. Okay, and it will be the same for everything. Okay, point to remember, the tools of financial statement analysis, we have three tools, it's horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, and ratio analysis. Previous lesson, we explained the horizontal analysis. This lesson, we explained vertical analysis 
and the ratio analysis, it's not required in this book. Okay, horizontal analysis is to determine increase or decrease for a specific financial statement data over a period of time. The vertical analysis is to evaluate the amount of financial statement data for each amount expressed as a percentage of base amounts. Okay, let's solve exercise one. Using the vertical analysis, you are required to complete table one or two. Sorry, one and two. Table one, it is uh, current assets, fixed assets, so it's assets data, so it is the balance sheet. The rule for the balance sheet said any item of assets divided by total assets. Okay, let's start solving the question. Fifteen thousand divided by total assets. Sixty thousand multiply by 100 the result is 25 percent let's see the fixed assets 45,000 divided by 60,000 multiply by 100 the result is 75 percent Total assets divided by total assets multiply by 100 equal 100%. Okay, this is table number one. Let's see table number two. We notice that this is income statement figures. So... The formula said any item of income statement divided by net sales. We will divide the amounts by net sales. So 80,000 divided by 80,000 multiplied by 100 equal 100%. Cost of goods sold, 40,000. Also divided by net sales, which is 80,000 multiplied by 100 equal 50%. Okay, the same for gross profits. 40,000 divided by 80,000 equal the same 50 percent for total expense 20,000 divided by net sales which is 80,000 times 100 equal 25 percent and finally the net income 20 percent sorry 20,000 divided by 80,000 multiply by 100 equal 25%. We reach the end of the lesson. For more information, you can visit edunet.com and you can do more practice using your workbook. Thank you for watching.